The next type of yo-yos, and it's the type of yo-yos that you're going to see everyone using if you go to a contest, um, if you look online at anywhere else where there's videos and whatnot, ball bearing yo-yos is where it's at. All the new tricks we're doing, all the fancy new stuff, it's because of ball bearings. Um, if you look in a yo-yo, you've got a ball bearing. This is a ball bearing roller. It goes in the center of the yo-yo itself, and this is actually what the string goes around onto it. I'll show you real quick what a ball bearing looks like inside. Um, you'll notice this one has the circle, and inside here you've got all these little balls. Um, and actually this is all some of the factory lubricant that comes in there to help keep the rust out. But you'll notice all these little balls go in there, and what happens is these spin around. This is what the yo-yo is onto, and as the yo-yo is spinning around this, because of all those little balls, um, you've reduced the friction so much that you can land the yo-yo multiple times in the string. You can keep it spinning for you know minutes on end without any problems, and it really helps improve the performance. So let me show you real quick. We got a string here. The string itself, as we mentioned, is the two strands of string. It comes around the bearing like so. So as the yo-yo is spinning, you'll notice that bearing isn't moving at all. It's just the yo-yo spinning around it. We put it together. The string is just around that one bearing, as you tighten the gap up. And so because of that bearing, you can land it on the string, let it sit there, and do tricks that were just never before impossible. You'll notice with the bearing in there, you can land it one, two, three times even in the gap. And because that bearing is spinning freely, there's nothing there to stop it from coming back to your hand or stopping it from spinning. Because of ball bearings, you'll see all the tricks we're doing today are possible.